And because of that, no one talks about Leningrad. Bro, Leningrad was horrid. Died as a result. See, in that one city. All right, the fallen a world war. The so average lifespan of an American is 80 years, and an 80 year old 80. today 80. was 10. I when thought, World War II ended. I thought it was 70. It's like 76 now. Not 80. It's not 80. It's not cool 80. It began. There's no way. Bro, <laughs> Americans eat like so much like processed foods and the average lifespan is 80? No. <laughs> no. Like, bro, 25% of the population in the U.S. is like obese. No. There's no way the average lifespan is 80. A soldier who saw battle would have to be in his late 80s, at least today. Generals, political leaders, the decision makers of the war, few are still with us. And over the past few decades, we've seen authors and filmmakers rush to capture stories from survivors before this connection of memory is lost. Stalin lived until 70. Whoa, Stalin actually lived a long. Wait. For a second, I thought Stalin died in his 50s, but then I just remember Stalin died in the 1950s. I can't, I didn't, I didn't realize Stalin was that old. This project is not about individual war stories, and it's not about survivors. We're going to tally up the tens of millions of people whose lives are cut that short by the war. That right there and is see how these numbers wild. stack up to other wars in history, including trends in recent conflicts. Are we like living in the most peaceful era in human history right now? We'll be counting soldiers and civilians separately. So like the conflicts right now Each are like represents 1,000 people who died. Civilians were of all walks of life. Whereas military deaths were almost entirely men. The average age was about 23. <laughs> Male privilege, am I right? In those battles, <laughs> for every 1,000 soldiers killed, there are more than 1,000 who were injured. <laughs> the word casualty can be confusing because in military speak, it often includes both deaths and injuries and anything else that takes a soldier out of service. Here, we're just counting the deaths and we'll begin with American soldiers. America had like kind of a low casualty rate though in World War II though, right? If I'm not mistaken. Wait, so Over this is like what? 400,000 died. 400,000. Most of the deaths occurred in the European theater, fighting the Nazis. And about a quarter were in the Pacific, fighting the Japanese. Well, why would he say, I don't like, I don't like the fact that he said the N-word. He said the N-word. Just say fighting the Germans, okay? Like, <laughs> I know this was made seven years ago, but please, just, just say Germans. Like, why do they say the N-word? Just say Germans. Put them on the timeline. You see that casualties were the heaviest at the end of the war. The war began on September 1st, 1939. But the U.S. wasn't willing to join the fight until Pearl Harbor, two years in. Uh, what about the, the fact that... Drastic whoa, 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 what about the American sailors who were fighting U-boats already? Why didn't he... ...when the Allies invaded Normandy. One of the most tragic moments of the war was on D-Day at Omaha Beach where 2,500 Americans fell. Bro, this is literally nothing, okay? This, this is, this is About nothing. The same number of U.S. soldiers died on this single beach landing as the entire 13 years of the recent war in Afghanistan. Bro, bro, Omaha Beach is literally nothing, dude. Like, come on now. Like, the only reason why Omaha Beach is, like, so emphasized is because, oh my gosh, my, my American propaganda, oh. Oh, oh, but like, come on, there's probably like other fronts in the Balkans, right? You know, that had way more casualties, for example, right? So, I, I don't really get the hype with Omaha Beach, you know, like, that was very minuscule, really and truly, when you think about it. The bloodiest battle in the Pacific was Okinawa, which lasted 82 days. Okay, yeah. During which 12,500 Americans died. Uh, yeah, the the Pacific campaign was kind of about kind 5, of thousand of these deaths were at sea from kamikaze attacks. Ooh. I didn't know five thousand people die from Japanese kamikaze. Now let's look at some. I other actually did not know that. With Europe. Ah uh, yes. Germany started World Germany. War II when it invaded Poland. Poland. So wait, 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 wait! You're telling me that this guy, right? This guy. 
Okay, he says the N word, right? But w when he talks about Germany, he just calls a country German. <laughs> like, if you're gonna call a country Germany, just call it, just, just call the soldiers Germans, man. 200,000 soldiers in the war. Most died after the invasion while the country was occupied by Germany and the Soviet Union. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty Germany, sad. Germany, meanwhile, lost just 16,000 in the invasion of Poland. The Nazis went on to invade and conquer other countries, including Denmark, Belgium, the Netherlands, France. Denmark Greece, only lost 2,000. Lucky Denmark. But after losing 92,000 soldiers in the Battle of France, all right, 200,000 ultimately fell, which includes deaths in POW camps, French colonies, and other fighting. It's not too bad, Yugoslavia considering World War One. A million military deaths. Okay, yeah, the, 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 this is this is this is um. That's actually kind of crazy. That is, yeah, yeah. You see, this is why I said that D-Day, like D-Day is so like overrated because like there's- The brought there's relatively few casualties on both sides. But the deaths mounted under Nazi occupation due to guerrilla fighting, civil conflict, and mass executions. Yeah, that's that's why I said like Balkan the Nazi front split, is- With relatively few German losses. Even the Nazi the commanders time, expressed- Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So now he says German. Now he said- no, he what? So he knows. He knows. He knows. Freaking hell! Right, their success. He doesn't say the N word. And then we he have the United Kingdom and the United States, who were not invaded but took the fight to the Nazis. Oh, Britain oh, lost. Oh my! He said it again. He say he say German. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I just hate the fact that he's like switching out like it, it's like bothering me so much the same number of soldiers as the u.s which includes the british colonies germany lost about half a million soldiers fighting the u.s and britain in what is known as the western front which took place okay. in france and belgium that's that's okay that's not too bad considering world war one standards but most nazi soldiers died in the eastern front oh my god german soldiers germany's unsuccessful invasion of the soviet union Holy! The numbers are staggering. The most famous battle of the Eastern Front, and perhaps the turning point of the European War, was Stalingrad. The German 6th Army successfully took Stalingrad, but then got surrounded by the Soviets and cut off from food and ammunition. Half a million Nazis would ultimately die in Stalingrad. Now that is wild Another to me, because that is one city. That is one city, bro. One freaking... Yo, that is so... Dude. And I say this in like all my videos where I react to casualties, but like the population, right, of my country is 280,000 people. Dude, that is almost like double, kind of almost like double the freaking population of my country for one city. Okay, that is that. Okay, because when he was saying the Western Front is like, oh yeah, 500,000, you know, that's like the whole front line, right? And, you know, that's like, okay, yeah, for a whole front line, you know, yeah, that's not like too crazy, but for one city like this, that is wild. 1,000 prisoner, of which 6,000 would ever return. POWs yeah, had bro. a survival rate throughout World War II, and it was particularly grim in the East. Yeah, so did, did the did not. The Germans died in Stalingrad as all the Western Front fighting against France, the UK, and the US. What? What? Holy, that is like... Combine? Damn! And though Stalingrad was a victory for the Soviets, they suffered almost twice as many losses as Germany. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't even know that the Soviets suffered that many losses. I thought the losses were equal. I didn't know that the losses were, um, were, were twice that. The Soviet Union would eventually defeat the once unstoppable German army, killing 2.3 million Nazi soldiers. Oh my gosh, Germans, just say Germans, please. <laughs> just say but Germans. the war came at a cost. A big cost. Holy, and it's still going. It is. It is still going. And it's still going. When is this going to end? Holy. Each of this is 1,000, right? It's still going. Okay, is it good? 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's still not stopping. Is this a military deaths or is this... 8.7 million is the official tally by the Russian military. A hotly disputed number. Some studies have calculated as many as 14 million dead. 8.6 mil... To complete the count of European military deaths, Holy we need to add German deaths from other fronts, including the North and Africa. As well as deaths from other Axis powers allied with the Nazis. Hungary, Romania, and Italy. Bro, this is like more than everyone combined. When you put these European military deaths on the timeline, it looks like this. You can now interact with the chart to learn more. Pause the narration if you'd like more time. So you're telling me that the Soviet Union is like half of all World War II deaths? <laughs> That is, that is wild. And now we switch to civilian deaths in Europe. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. These civilian deaths are usually worse, man. Oh no. Six million Jewish people were killed in the Holocaust. Yeah, everyone knows this. If you separate this by country, you see that about half, 2.7 million, were Polish. 700,000 yeah, were Soviets, worse. followed by Hungary and 17 other countries. Who well, knows another way, about, about the Holocaust, the so that's like, camps. you know, not, not, not crazy. Over a million died in Auschwitz. Most were killed in the gas chambers. Others died from starvation, exhaustion, disease, and other forms of execution. Yeah, there's a misconception that the Holocaust was like, just the camps. No, the Holocaust was just, ex just complete extermination of... It doesn't even have to be, like, those people here who died. Like, Holocaust, the definition of a Holocaust is just simply the systemic extermination of a Pacific group. In this case, it was just, you know, these people. The second most deadly camp was Treblinka, which was exclusively an extermination camp. So I had never heard like of this camp. Station. What? What? I gotta, I gotta make a video on this. I make a video on it because I heard this hot debate where people were talking about, oh, did the Germans know what the Holocaust was about? Did the Germans know? And, you know, I really want to discuss on that. I'm not going to discuss on that here, but in the future, maybe like two months down the line or something, I'm going to drop a video discussing on that because I do have a pretty interesting take on that. Mobile killing groups killed 1.4 million Jews. Ay, 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 man. Like with the gas chambers, men were killed first to reduce the risk of revolt. At that point, you just revolt. Ay, ay, ay. Heartbreaking, to see honestly. Very, very heartbreaking. I don't know what else to say besides, like, you know. The Holocaust also includes non Jewish deaths. Between 130,000 to 500,000 Roma, then called Gypsies, were killed. The numbers are disputed. It's crazy how the Gypsies are still hated about in a quarter million the people with today. Were killed. Homosexuals, Catholics, and other groups were also exterminated, but their numbers were relatively small. Catholics Some historians say white other Catholics. civilian deaths should go under the label of Holocaust. W white about Catholics. 2 million non-Jewish Poles were killed under German occupation. Some of it were sent to the gas chambers at Auschwitz. When you combine civilian and military deaths, over 16% of the total Polish population died in World War II, which Holy is the highest percentage of the country. Crap, man. Poland, you suffer so much. So, Poland, 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 Poland. You really suffered, man. Poland, Poland. Everyone talks about freaking like the USSR and how the USSR suffered a lot on the German occupation, bro. But Poland, like, bro, people... People really need to, like, emphasize how much Poland, like, really lost. And, you know, yes, Poland was compensated by it, by taking, um, Silesia and, um, I forgot the other part, um, that used to be a part of, um, Germany. Uh, Silesia and the other province. I know they took, um, a part of East Prussia. Uh, what was that province called? Um, the, the, the there was Silesia, East Prussia, and the other province, man. 
it's but but yeah you you should know what i'm talking about but still i don't i don't really think that was enough i don't really think that was enough i know there was this meme like that i used to like see like years ago i don't know if anyone knows this but there's this like little joke that i noticed how like poland would like, always whenever poland needed money they would always like go to germany and like demand reparations and be like hey 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 did you did you forget about what you did <laughs> i don't know if poland still does that or not but <laughs> the soviet union again tops that list losing at least as many civilians as it did soldiers somewhere between 10 and 20 million Please, man, those poor Darkman, souls, the right? Was the siege of Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. Yeah, people need to talk German about this more. Surrounded Leningrad before I don't, I, I don't even, I don't even talk Supplies, about this. Supplies, including food, were cut off for two and a half years. Everyone talks about Stalingrad, and because of that, no one talks about Leningrad. But Leningrad was horrid. Died as a result. Jeez, in that one city, holy crap, dude! Holy, 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 holy. Oh my god, Star starvation. Dude, imagine one million people starving. I can't imagine that. That's surreal. That's surreal to me. That's so surreal to me. That is so surreal. To me. One million people starving. That's like the entire population of the current city that I live in. I can't imagine all of those people in this city starving right now. Holy. One million, bro. I don't think y'all understand how big is one million, bro. Because because I'm able to kind of sort of like understand this because I grew up on an island, you know, that with you know with a population of a, a bit like a quarter million people, right? So so I, even then there was like so many people who I didn't know, right? Like there was, there was just like just enough people that there was just a lot of people where like you won't be able to know everyone. Sure, if you get on the national news, everyone probably would know who you are. But like if you're just like you know minding your own business and whatnot, you know like you 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 you're not gonna be able to like know everyone on the island, right? So one million people, dude. That's like you know what four. Barbados's, right? You know, four Barbados's right here. That is that, that, that that's my country, by the way. So that's like four Barbados's, bro. Right? I, I this is why I, said, I can't imagine that. That's like four Barbados's on like one of the city of which I live in. I can't imagine that, bro. That's that's wild to me. Like, how do people live through Stalin's this? Stalin's cruelty towards his own people is partly responsible for these numbers. He often didn't allow civilians to evacuate from cities, thinking it would cause the soldiers protecting them to fight harder. About a million Soviets died in Stalin's own labor camps, called the Gulag. Just about every country suffered civilian losses, especially Man, countries who were How much While many died as a result of so-called collateral damage. While many died as a result of so-called collateral damage, the biggest numbers occurred when it was no accident. Civilians were exterminated, purposely fired upon or bombed, used as human shields, or intentionally deprived of food. Yeah, there was no good inside of World War II. was done by most warring parties, including there the United was, Kingdom and the United States. There was no good inside in World War II, bro. But still lost 60,000 civilians, largely from German air raids or blitzes, often directed at civilian population centers. The UK was um, seen to German cities at a much greater magnitude. Yeah, I was about to say. about 10 times the number of deaths. Yeah, German, 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 deaths. German bombings were so hellish. <laughs> German bombings were hellish. I would not want to be like, um, I would rather really and truly be like in a city that's starving, like rather than be in a, a city getting bombed. Because if the stories that I've heard of the German city is getting bombed, holy. When the Nazi regime collapsed. Civilians living in occupied regions had to desperately flee from the advancing Soviet army. Rapes were widespread, and death estimates ranged from 600,000 to 3 million. Bro, oh, like 10% of the German population have like Russian blood. Let's step back and see Russian blood in them world. because, because, bro, <laughs> it's crazy because after the war happened and what the Soviets did 
to like German women, bro. Holy, like nobody, like nobody talks about it now because, um, like a lot of these, a lot of these women were just, you know, they they were they were just too afraid to like speak up about it. But I I heard somewhere that probably like ten percent of the German population have like Russian blood because of that. We just we counted about I don't know 20 million that civilian is. deaths in Europe. If you add this to the European military deaths we already covered, it brings us to over 40 million. 40 million people then we have the dead, Asian. man. Oh, Here I completely the vast forgot majority about Asia. Military deaths in Asia came from China and Japan. Well, people need to talk about On the China civilian more. side, about 6 million deaths from China, Indonesia, Korea, Indochina, and the Philippines can be attributed to Japanese war crimes, which are sometimes compared to the Nazi atrocities due to the sheer scale of the cruelty. Compare? No. No, 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 no. This should this should not even be comparable. Okay, Japanese war crimes were way worse. They were like way worse. Even even so that the Nazis. Oh, I used the bad word, but still, like even 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 they were disgusted by it. Like, I think anyone who knows history should know that. Like, that's not even comparable. I mean, I guess in some instances you 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 can compare that, but like, like, I mean, I don't know, man. J Japan takes the gold medal when it comes to the, the, the brutality of their like war the crimes. Death count after the Soviet Union, and like the Soviets, the Chinese government demonstrated a stunning willingness to sacrifice its own people. Chinese nationalists opened the dike at the Yellow River, hoping the flood would halt the Japanese advance. Half a million Chinese civilians or more were killed. Oh, I know drowned. Which is two or three times oh. more died in all countries in the 2004 Oh my gosh, Asian dude. This, this death the invasion of China only cost this... Japan 200,000 soldiers. Most were killed fighting the U.S. and allies in the Pacific War. A significant portion of Japanese civilian deaths were caused by American firebombing and the two nuclear attacks. Contrary to official U.S. statements, these airstrikes were directed at civilian populations, not military targets. When you I'm add glad that you pointed that out. Europe, it brings us to a grand oh, total of I 70 am, million. I am so war. glad that you pointed that out. Who's know. counting and what civilian deaths get included? What was More the population of the world at this time? Than any other war in history. For comparison, here are 20 or so of the very worst wars and atrocities we have on record. Some of these are more of atrocities than wars, but we've seen how that distinction can get blurry. Four million people died in, in the Napoleonic Wars? World War II had the highest body count, and it all happened in just six years. Mongol conquests? The world's population has grown significantly. I am... Um, this is way worse. Mongol conquest. This is way worse because the population of the world was much smaller at this time. This is way worse. And not only that, but you could argue that the Mongols are the reason why the Black Death, the plague, came to Europe, which like wiped out like what half of the European population. Like, depending on what source you use, it was like forty to sixty percent. So you could argue that the Mongols like kind of. Uh, like killed way more people than 40 million people 30 years of war killed 7 million this is also pretty bad too considering the population atlantic slave trade 18 million people died in that i didn't even know that many people wow okay that's actually really crazy i didn't i didn't even realize these numbers fall of 8 million people die what that is horrible. That is horrible. This is horrible. Was this when the Rome, the Western Roman Empire fell apart? Middle East slave trade. Holy, dude, these numbers are staggering. I am actually learning a lot right now. Holy. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, this is. Uh, I gotta actually um, look more into this. I don't want. I don't want to make this video too long. Significantly since the early early on this down. list. If you want to compare them in terms of what percentage of the world died, 
we can adjust the chart to look like this. Yeah, yeah. This is what this I'm talking about. Talk- this, this, this is why I said the Mongols, the Mongol conquests. Like no one can. No, I, I, if you like adding the Black Death, which happened, which was like indirectly happened because of the Mongols conquering everything. This, this is you could argue that the Mongols kind of like kill like half of the world half the world's population at the time so yeah that's um wild approximation tells us there may have been more devastated well not like half but i would probably say like a good i don't know i need to do like do more research into that but the the mongols killed a lot of people before world war ii proportionally speaking When we turn to post-war conflicts, it's hard to say anything that isn't controversial. But the data shows something quite extraordinary has been happening. All right. In 1989, John Gaddis coined the phrase, the long peace, to identify the absence of conflict between the nuclear powers during the Cold War. 25 years later, the Cold War is over, and the term is still being used, although its meaning may have shifted. Yeah, this is the most peaceful era countries have not that we're living other, in. Except for this 10-day war in 1956, when the Soviet Union invaded Hungary. When we look at European wars before World War II, it looks like this. They tend to be more frequent as you go back, though smaller in scale. And the largest yeah. 44 economies of the world have not battled each other since World War II. The rich countries have fought poor countries, like the U.S. versus Iraq. I wonder why. Rich countries have not fought other rich countries. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean that joke. <laughs> Such a period of peace between the so-called great powers hasn't been seen since the Roman Empire. Yeah, this Many is a, this is what um this is um what I think people call call this um era Pax Americana. Right, Pax Americana, because it's such a peaceful era where America dominates. I know there is a peaceful era, Pax Britannica, when Britain was the most dominant force and they had complete control over the the seas. I think that was our. Am I um or am I um confusing that? I know there's Pax Roman Romana, Pax Romanica, or something like that. Where there was like lo- like a long, pe- I'm I'm pretty sure that term means that there's like a long peaceful era with like a, because of a dominant force, right? Or am I confusing? I don't, I don't know, man. Let's continue. Wrong of the word. Wars have occurred since World War II, and they can be grouped into these four categories. We don't see colonial wars anymore. We've already noted that interstate wars between rich countries have not occurred at all. And here we see wars involving smaller economies have tapered off. That leaves civil wars of two types, with and without foreign intervention. And this is what these battle deaths look like alongside of World War II. More people died fighting in World War II than in all the wars since. And again, we can't forget about world population, which has almost tripled since World War II. If we scale these numbers to show deaths in proportion to world population, showing the likelihood that a person on Earth dies in battle, the downward trend becomes even more pronounced. Now, this isn't to infer anything about why this trend is occurring. That's a discussion for another day. Yeah, now, but, uh... Chart, conflicts are behind the you know, I know this now, video was made a while ago, but... Battle deaths here, not civilian deaths. But those two are like, decline. Ukraine, you, the whole Ukraine situation is a kind of thing to changing that. It's a bit like counting the people who didn't die in wars that never happened. We give such importance to the word peace, but we don't tend to notice it when it occurs or report on it. Yeah, because Sometimes we're it takes all attracted to how to, terrible war once was to see the we're all attracted to the bad the things, man. Like, of course, this trend may not continue, and it's not clear how looking at these charts can help us make the right decisions to ensure that it does. But the longer the long peace grows the more significant it becomes. Well, so if watching the news doesn't you feel hopeful about where things are heading. Ukraine kind of kind of broke that. 
<laughs> Ukraine kind of broke that long piece. Watching the numbers might. Dude. <laughs> The biggest irony ever, <laughs> because right now this is like the largest war being fought since World War II <laughs> in Europe. <laughs> Bro, the last time I checked, Ukraine had like what, five hundred thousand casualties, right? Um, Russia had like around four hundred thousand casualties, something like that. I know the Ukrainian casualties are much more higher than the Russian casualties, but like I don't know, I don't have a, like an accurate amount of like how many people died. I know Ukraine is saying that like two hundred thousand Russians died the last time I checked. Two hundred thirty thousand Russians died. So um, yeah, man, that's uh not only that, but the T Gray. I know Ethiopia is also fighting a war in um, T Gray right now. Then the whole you know situation in the middle east you know with the whole um you know that country and the other group so yeah things are flaring up right now um although it, it's gonna get worse it's gonna get a lot worse um in my personal opinion definitely it's gonna get a lot worse the only reason why we haven't really had any major wars is because of nuclear weapons like people have been saying oh we we haven't had major wars because we 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 are civilized people like no like, like shut up like shut up like you, you sound dumb the reason why we haven't had like, any major wars is because all the major countries have nuclear weapons and nobody wants to get nuked okay that's the reason why we haven't had any major wars like 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 <laughs> seriously man like i hate when people say that but um it makes you wonder like should we get rid of nuclear weapons? I don't know. I might discuss on that on my own personal video or something. I have no idea. I probably should discuss on that. Anyway, let's continue. That's a cool animation. <laughs> For a second, I thought it said Heil. <laughs> Alright, man. Check out this other stuff that are appearing on your screen. If you like this reaction, check out my other videos that are on my channel if you like history subscribe because i post historical stuff all the time and um you know if you have any suggestions give it to me in the comments i try to get through every single suggestion that i can if i haven't reacted to your suggestion i will do it give me time i will do it make sure to like the video so that youtube keeps promoting the video on the algorithm and thank you for watching.